First things first, got a new water bottle. Pretty stoked about it. It's a Hydro Flask. They're all the rage. It's a water bottle. I don't know. It's 40 ounces though, so that's the exciting part for me because I drink so much water. And it has a straw. I love straws, so big fan of that. They didn't really have any cute colors though, so we went with this like green color. It's I, right, but I, I wish it was pink, so. Anyway, that's the first thing. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing well. Today's video is going to be a Target and Trader Joe's haul. We're kicking it old school. I'm gonna just share with you all the stuff I spent my money on. Some was necessary, some was most definitely not. So there's a random assortment of things. I pretty much go to Target very not often. And so when I do, I hit up all the little sections. I kind of have a routine, if you will, if I go into Target and I just kind of start at one end and make my rounds and same with Trader Joe's. So, but I'm going to start with Target. If you're new here, I don't always look like a six year old. It was just the vibe for today, but you should subscribe and stay a while and join the family and check out the giveaway that I have going on. I have a huge back to school giveaway happening. I'll have the link down below. You should go enter if you're new and if you haven't done so already, but let's not uh, chat too much longer. Let's go ahead and jump into the haul. I only have one Target bag because I brought all my reusable bags to shop with. So be proud of me for that. Love that. Um, so this is kind of like the bag of random food stuff. It's all random actually. There's really no order to this. So we're just gonna jump right in. So whenever I see someone post about something cool that's gonna be at Target, I go into my little Google Keep app and put it in my Target list. And this was one of the things on my list. This is an oat milk creamer by Natural Bliss. It's vanilla, had it in my coffee this morning, 10 out of 10, would recommend. It has probably a bit of sugar. Four grams of sugar per one tablespoon, that's not too bad. Um, but I love oat milk. It's my new favorite milk of choice, obviously. I'm a basic white girl, but it's actually really good. So if you drink coffee and want a creamer, check this one out. The next thing I picked up is actually something that I normally get at Costco and it's probably a better deal at Costco, but we're gonna go with it because they had more flavors at Target. So I got the buttermilk and honey Kodiak cakes. These are protein pancakes. They're the only pancakes I make and I love pancakes. So I wanted to try this one. Uh, there was this other cinnamon oat and oat flavor that it looked good, but this one had less sugar. So I went with this one. Hopefully it's tasty. The next thing I picked up is kind of a lol, but I picked up a new tea. This is the traditional medicinals organic smooth move, which I'm sure you can all guess what it might help you do. I saw this on my friend Jen's Instagram. It looked great. So I put it in my cart. The next thing I picked up is again, super random. This is the Ollie probiotic gummies. I recently went to the doctor. They said I need to be taking more probiotics. So here we are listening to our people. And um, I've had these ones before. They're so tasty. They make me want to take vitamins. And just the Ollie line in general is like one of my favorites. And you can get them on Target. So I picked these up. The next thing Cody picked up, but it's actually something we've had before. These are the Dunkin' Donuts cold brew coffee packs. I believe you get, oh yeah, two pitchers of cold brew. So you just like make it the night before and then you have cold brew for a couple days. They're really great, very tasty. I got this plain tank top for working out. I think it was $8. So exciting. And then the last thing in my target bag here, but it's not the last thing. Um, I saw these at the front. They're L organic cotton tampons, regular and super. They had cool packaging. I gave my period, thought it was a good idea. Moving on, okay. I also, okay, I swear, I cannot leave Target without purchasing a pillow. It's a problem, but not to like toot my own horn or anything, this pillow matches my new bedspread perfectly. Like the yellow and the pink are like, so good and if you guys have seen my last video i think it's two videos ago now where i redid my like bedspread you gotta go see that because like i have yellow and blue the blue is like okay but like now this pillow like replaces that and it's so good it's so cute and i love it and it's just like the perfect geometric little pattern going on big fan very cushiony very happy about it as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I do like to make my rounds in Target and one of the sections I always have to hit up is the candle section. So I actually found this one and it says Scorpio on it and that's my astrological sign, my star sign, whatever it's actually called. And it smelled really freaking good. Now that I'm thinking about it, this smells exactly like the Aaron perfume that I love, Hibiscus Palm. Holy shit. That's like the same freaking scent. I'm obsessed. Okay, I just realized that. I knew it sounded or smelt familiar, but wow. Damn, that's good. Okay, so it smells like a beach. I believe there's coconut, tu tuberose, vanilla, tonka bean, and then there's like peach or something in it too. Damn, that's good. I also just like the fact that the wax is black. I think that's super cool. Probably gonna put this on the side of my bed, but 
Oh my god, I'm so much more obsessed with this now. Okay, anyway, there was also these that I thought were very aesthetically pleasing. This is the Opal Passion Fruit and Amber made with essential oils green spray. I like the packaging. It smelled good. I have smelly cats. It's a good buy. The next section I hit up in Target was the party section because I'm currently starting to plan my 24th birthday. It's my champagne birthday this year, so I'm doing a big old bash and I've already started collecting things from it because I'm just so excited. So if you guys want to see like a full video on like how I go about planning a big party like this and like maybe a vlog of like the whole process, let me know because maybe I should start filming that and then take you guys along with me, but only if you guys would be interested. But the few things I did pick up were cups. They have gold on them, love that. That's obviously going to be the theme. We got some gold paper straws. I only got one pack because like not very many people actually use these, but they're cute on the table. I also picked up some plates, little geometric hoxagon. They matched my knobs on my thing here, which is kind of funny, um, but they're gold as well. Thought they were cute. And then I got these two plastic bowls, which will be for chips. They have like a gold trim around them and are white. The theme colors for the party are like black, gold, pink, and white. Like cool pink and white? Yes, I think that's it. Um, and then I also picked up uh, a little happy birthday thing that will go in like a cupcake, a donut, or a cake, whatever I decide on going with. Um, I also got these little stick and cheese label cheese on a cheese board flags. And then I also just picked up some napkins in various gold designs. And the last couple things I picked up at Target were underwear because TMI, I love Target underwear. It's uh, pretty much the only underwear I wear. Their thongs are just so thin, so comfy, last a really long time, and come in really cute colors. So, picked up some of those. Before I jump into all the Trader Joe's goods I got, I wanted to share with you guys a few things I picked up at Ulta. The first thing is the Dry Bar Blonde Ale Brightening Conditioner. I've owned the shampoo and I love it. The scent is so good and I'm kind of low on like conditioner options at the moment, so I picked that up. I also got the Kylie Jenner Skin Concealer and I tried it out this morning. I got the shade Ivory and when I first applied it, I thought it was going to be too dark, but it actually ended up working out really well. So big fan of that. Good applicator. No complaints here. And then the other thing I purchased, I've really been enjoying so far. These are the Pacific, oh, words, Pacifica underarm deodorant wipes. Odor neutralizing with coconut milk and rose, 100% vegan and cruelty free. I like these. They're great to have for the summer when you're just like sweaty and you want to wipe your pits. That's it, they're great. They have a bunch of different flavors, scents, whatever. They're so good. So those are my Ulta purchases. Jokes, I got one more thing at Target. A mini cast iron skillet for the barbecue and for roasting vegetables. I'm very excited about it. It's gonna be great. Now moving on to the Trader Joe's portion of the haul, I honestly should have just taken the camera and gone to my freezer because that's where everything was and I just pulled it all out to bring it over here to show you guys. But the stuff that is not in the freezer, I don't have any cute Trader Joe's bags because I use reusable bags as I said. We got three types of cheese. I got halloumi, great on the barbecue as well. We got these mini brie bites. They are so cute. They're individual little packaged brie's. They were just so cute, I could not resist. And the last cheese we picked up was the Italian truffle cheese, which I put in my omelet this morning and is real good. One of the only snacky things we got at Trader Joe's is a recent discovery of mine and I'm obsessed, so I got three of them. They are the crispy broccoli florets. All this is is like freeze dried broccoli. I'm not sure the process, but it's just broccoli, palm oil, and salt. They are so tasty. They low key kind of look like weed, like little nuggets of weed, but they are so good, such a nice light snack, great for the beach if you wanna be healthy. I'm just, they're so tasty, so I got those. We also picked up the little package of the dark chocolate peanut butter cups. I know it comes in a bigger tub, but I wanted to limit myself, so I got the smaller one. And then something Cody picked up that we tried last night was the Trader Joe's Coconut Cold Brew Coffee Concentrate. So you put like one part this and then some water, and then it makes coffee. It is coffee, but it does actually taste like coconut, so if you like coconut, you like this. If you don't, you won't. So like I said, most of the stuff we pick up at Trader Joe's comes from the freezer section and uh, we did in fact get cauliflower in five different forms. So the first one, we actually picked up two of these. These are the cauliflower cheese pizzas. They have a cauliflower crust if you want to make your own, but honestly, this one's so much better. So get this one in my personal opinion. We picked up two bags of riced cauliflower. This one's new for us. This is the Kung Pao tempura cauliflower. It looks delicious. We also have mashed cauliflower. I personally love adding garlic powder into these. If you guys want to see like a what I eat in a day, somewhat healthy, then like let me know. But these are really great. And then last, 
but certainly not least. We got cauliflower gnocchi. I picked up four bags. One's currently in the freezer, totaling at five bags currently in our freezer. I'm obsessed. I love this stuff so flippin' much. So if you want to see how I cook this or like, you know, how I do it, let me know. Maybe I'll show you guys on Instagram or in a video or something because it's we were feeling a little bit adventurous, so we got a couple more things. We got the mandarin orange chicken. I've heard really great things about this, and I think it'll be really good with the rice cauliflower, so we got one bag of that. I definitely did a little bit of research before going to Trader Joe's, and this was on someone's recommendation list, so I wanted to try them. They're the steamed chicken soup dumplings. I thought this would be good going into fall. And we also picked up, this is like cheeky. This is kind of like a, if I come home late and want a snack, you know what I mean? Kind of snack. These are the gluten-free and dairy-free homestyle pancakes. I love frozen breakfasts so very much, so I'm very excited to try those. And then the last thing that's definitely a treat and are definitely worth it, they are so good, are these 12 mini mint ice cream mouthfuls. And they are very much mini. I'll actually show you guys because they are open. Um, like that's the size of them. They're so cute, so little. The mint ice cream is so good. Delicious when you have a sweet craving, but don't want like a full ice cream or full ice cream sandwich. They're so tasty, so big fan of that. We have officially made it to the end of the haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up because it really helps and supports my channel. And of course, if you made it this far, let me know in a comment down below. Let me know your favorite section at Target or your favorite thing from Trader Joe's because I definitely want to know if you shop at those places. Let me know what's up and don't forget to enter the giveaway. Link will be down below and I will see you lovely people in my next video. Have a great day.